Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm making a new video about the My Little Pony game today. As many of you who might be playing this game already know, there's been a lot of significant um, updates. And uh, pretty much none of them has made me happy at all. I'm going to be pretty much reviewing them, basically. And, um, hmm. Well, let's get into it. Let's see, well... There we go. Yeah, first of all, we're gonna just come talk about the shops. Shops are the basic structure of this game. You can't really do anything without the shops. They give you the bits and shards and experience that a player needs to upgrade in the game. Lately, they've done away with um, everything that's made this game fun. Let's uh, the Yeah, this is the new um, the quest they have going on with the changelings. That's kind of the same, yes. Anyway, back to the shops. All the shops have been changed, so instead of using ponies to gather bits, now they're just sitting around doing nothing. As you can see, they look, like, they look like they're having fun, but not having a purpose isn't very fun. This used to give me a few thousand bits. No, it does not. The town hall gives me about 10% of what I was earning before. And I still gotta wait about a day for that privilege. Huh. I just know what to say. All the shops combined maybe give me about 10,000 bits. And before, probably I was getting 10,000 bits. I mean, 100,000 bits from all of them combined. It's a, it's a disaster. Almost none of these characters, the ponies or the griffins, actually have anything to do. They don't have any real jobs. A few of them do, and they have very little... little bit of, like... 50 bits there, or a few hundred there, but they're not really worth bothering with most of the time. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a disaster, and they really need to change that back, because it just doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. I have about a million bits. I can't keep up with my towns, expanding my towns clearing things, or even adding new characters, or competing in the mind game, or anything like that. It's just outrageous. Yeah, I got these. The two hours, 330. If a player keeps doing this over and over, I mean, it will add up. But it's just not the same. It's a lot harder to deal with. Of course, the worst of them all will be the gem, the gem shops. I have three gem shops. First one I got was the house plant shop. Is this one by the quarry area I built? Um, it's it's a gem shop, so you get gems. In the past, you had two options, and uh, it was for one or two gems. Now it's two gems by default. But the time is, um, well, it far exceeds what it was before. Uh, yesterday, yesterday it was six hours for two gems. And all of, all the gem shops had that for the, with the new update. Now, I don't even know what it is because I have to wait for it to finish and then I'll, I'll know how many hours I have left. But from this, I'm thinking at least 12 hours. So the mm -hmm. maximum amount I can get is four gems a day for this. This is the same thing. But with eight hours? I don't know. I think it might be 16 hours. That would mean I'm actually going to get fewer gems with this update than they had before. The update's going to give me actually fewer gems. And in the Crystal Empire... Um... Yeah. 
this vampire I have for that Colosseum, which is a paid gem shop. That's, I don't know how many hours for that, maybe 12 again. So combined, so I'll have <clears throat> maybe 12 hours, I mean 12 gems a, a day from that. And um, that's just not good. That's roughly what I was getting before, but without any choice in uh, how often I can get gems. It just, it's a ripoff compared to what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, I know I'm not getting any significant amount of experience or um, bits doing this, but in the way now. There's some more puddles that I have to Oh, got a gem. See. What else with the. This terrible new update that's going on. Um, along with the changes to the shops, they changed the mind game. So let's go um, to visit the newest town from the movie. Judge Town, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's the town from the movie. Let's see. <clears throat> Hundred bits, then for two times you pay 120 times that, just for the privilege. Uh, this makes the mind game, well, impossible to do to some extent. It's uncompetitive. If you're a new player and you're trying to compete, you can't because you don't have enough bits. You can't make enough bits. And there's just no way to do it. I know some people think will claim they have. 25 million bits, and that, that just might be how it is. I don't have all kinds of bits, because I've always had to deal with, um, you know, unlocking new things, and clearing my town so they don't look terrible all the time. Yeah, playing this mind game, you give me about, I don't know, a few hundred bits each run. I don't know, um, that just might be how it is. Top of that, they reduced the number of wheels, and they just made it a lot more difficult to try to compete in this game. And it's just not very fun. That's the big problem. It's not fun to play this game anymore. You can't place uh, characters where you want. 
You can't control how many bits a player earns. You just can't do anything. And the game's just about making Gameloft more money that they don't deserve. They, they're not doing anything to earn it. See, the, um, the new competitions for the first three girls game. Here's another one. Although it's not as egregious as the mind game. And increasing the price or giving you no significance return of investment. is determined to pretty much ruin their game. There's nothing that really benefits its players. There's no free uh, free continue continuations. Like if you fail in the mind game you can't just continue unless you pay gems. And that's not really fair because they used to have that. They used to have a lot of things that improved the game and now that's all gone. Of course, you can see that this this um, new quest line is just more of the same. You gotta pay pay gems to continue, or you can just wait for these characters to try and do something. But um, they're not very effective, and uh, nine days just isn't enough. I tried to make my town look as best as possible. You know, I have all kinds of characters just, well, walking around doing nothing. That was one of the benefits of having these characters is that they all had something to do. I put a lot of time and effort into leveling, leveling them up. And, you know, now it doesn't matter at all. I mean, somebody who's not leveled up. It's probably one of those aggravating examples of what's been going on. With just one, one payment of sixty-nine thousand, any character in the game is now leveled up, hundred percent. There's no skill involved. There's no fun involved. It's just nonsense. Instead, they give us a star mastery where you can uh, gather stars when you level up ponies or other characters and get gems. But once you get these gems, that's it. And for the 2000, you're going to need every character in the game combined. It's not fair. It's uh, just, just this thing they're doing to try to lure players into a false sense of... Uh, interest. You don't understand that part of the fun of the game is interacting with the ponies, not just seeing them do nothing. Interacting with the ponies and having the ponies build up the town for you. That was the original concept. My town is more organically built. I have different areas set up for the ponies, like the Cloudsdale region, the wealthy region, the um, bit producing um, Main Street. It used to produce bits, now it's nothing. The inter entertainment district, the residential area, um, town markets, 
There'll be a lake and a whole bunch of other stuff. And we have the um, concert area. Uh, Hearth Morning Village. We'll probably bring the snow back soon. One of the bad ones. So we have all the villain characters again. And this play too. Yeah, they all used to have some kind of purpose, and it was fun to put each of the characters in places where they belonged. Like, the nurse was in the hospital. And, you know, each character had their own specific thing that they needed to do. And now they're just doing nothing. That, and the bit problem, the gem problem. You know, on top of everything else that's going wrong with this game, this is easily the worst update I've ever seen for this game. I've never encountered such hostility against a, fl a player fan base before. It's disappointing and they should be ashamed. I don't really have much else to say about this. Except that I really hope they change their ways and re will reconsider what's um, best for the game and what we the players want. But I don't think that's going to happen because every time they update this game it goes from bad to worse. So, yeah. At this point I got so many more characters left to acquire. And yet, is it fun to keep playing this game? Part of part of me says yes, and so many of these problems make it difficult for me to like the game. Even after all this effort's been put into building the town into what it is now. If you're a new player, I suggest find something else, but it's not worth trying to build something like this from scratch when the very people who are making the game are against you. They just care about you paying the bits. And paying your real money into getting these bits. So, um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about this ridiculous update. I'm gonna um, come out with a new video soon about my actual pony collection, not the one I have in this game. So, um, probably stick around for that. Thanks.